Hey guys, so I attempted to make an intro like this beforehand, but unfortunately, I failed on that. And basically what I was saying is I am going to be making a video displaying and testing Okaibo settings. So if you guys go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like. That would help me out a lot and I would greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, we are here now and I'm going to go ahead and try out these settings real quick. I'm going to start off with just some regular old 90s. And try to do some retakes and see if these settings do in fact truly make me a lot better and as you guys seen right there it was a little bit of a mess up um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and blame that on the fact that I haven't played non claw in a super long time so yeah um, I definitely can say straight off the bat that these settings do feel nice and fast which is usually the way I like to play but if you guys do also know that when you're on um, when you're on strike pack or whatever like you're using paddles or claw you definitely have the ability to play a, a lot of slower of a sense i guess so i'm kind of not used to a faster sense but if you guys do want to go ahead and check out these settings um i'll leave a link top of the description and you can go watch his video and find out exactly what settings i'm referring to the only reason i'm not going to display the settings is because there's kind of no reason to and yeah, he already has a whole video basically explaining the settings and how everything works. So, yeah, basically everything so everything as far as um, the sensitivities go and all the settings go, they are pretty nice. The only thing I'm obviously experiencing troubles with is playing non-claw. But that's okay because I'm just not used to it. But as a little bit of time goes by, I'll definitely be used to it and I'll be right back to, you know, destroying everybody in the lobby. But really quickly, I'm pretty sure... That nobody really wants to watch me sit here and crank in creative so I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into a pub and I'll catch you guys there all right guys I think I don't want to go anywhere too hot but I also don't want to do too passive of a drop so I think it would be a perfect game now to go salty I should be able to get some kills in and hopefully catch a nice multiple kill dub on Kaibo settings so yeah make sure you guys go down to the comments right now and wish me luck on this dub I want all the luck I can get, even though I'm not going to need it. It would just be nice if you guys could give me a quick thumbs up or something in, in the comment section just so I feel better about this game. I'm going to land here and grab this um, weapon drop. There's usually a weapon that drops there. I do not want that guy to pickaxe me. I know he just got a gun though. But it don't matter. He's going to try to pickaxe. But guys, watch this. It's going to be 400 IQ. Watch this. He's going to come in, try to pickaxe my ramp. I'm going to run out and shoot him. Ready? Nani? Boom. Did Kaibo's settings make me smarter? Or did they make me dumber? Because I'm about to die. Whole crap, guys. Who is shooting at me? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to pop this big shield for some extra health and I'm going to pop these bandages as well. Uh, this guy don't stand a chance. Are you for real? Ooh. Like I'm telling you guys, I definitely recommend you go check out um, those settings. Link in description because these are definitely the best non-claw settings if you're trying to improve I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it because I have no clue what that thing is Ooh, an ammo crate I could probably get ammo out of this and of course I didn't I'm on no ammo with my AR which kind of sucks because I can't do anything at range AR nope should I go fight anyways I'm gonna loot this chest first because it has the potential for an AR I was correct Watch the same bot, guys. Boom. Did Kaibo settings give me aimbot? Ooh, ooh, crack shield. Guys, I'm telling you, these are the best non-claw settings that you can probably have right now. No way. This guy thinks he's safe just because I ran out of ammo. Boom. I'm telling you guys, these settings are something else. I'm going to box up here. That way I can have more room to move around. I've got four kills, guys. 21 left. I think we can cop a 10-plus kill dub. So if you guys are rooting for me, make sure to tell me in the comments. Um, how many minis? Okay, I'll definitely, definitely grab the minis, maybe. And then, ooh. 
What can I do here? A rocket launcher? No way. Also, I'm gonna need all the likes right now just for a thumbs up. Just give a quick like on the video. I'm gonna need all the luck right now to get this dub. I say that, but you know, maybe not, maybe so. These guys do not know the power of me. Definitely gonna kill this guy off spawn. Boom, easy. Picked up a quick kill. We've got to reload this. Hopefully give me a big shield, uh, but didn't, but I still got the other mini, so it's okay. Now I'm going to return back to that house in just a moment here. After I grab some mats, and I'm gonna try to kill that other guy, because I am assuming that he won that drop, so he got in. There's definitely no guarantees, but it looks like he did. Nope, I guess not. So with that, this entire house is mine as well. Oh, grenades are being thrown in. Hopefully I do well this game so you guys can get a better understanding of how these settings are. Unfortunately, I'm not really used to non-claw, so if you guys are used to non-claw, you'll probably have a way better time playing with these settings. However, if you want me to get used to non-claw and make an updated version of this where I display how good I've gotten with these settings, just go go tell me in the comments. Just say yes in the comments and I'll do it soon. Just give me some time and I'll drop another updated video on these settings and show you how good it's made me. But yeah, I'm going to drop a uh, blue house. I don't see anybody landing there. And if they do, I'm the lowest. You've got to be kidding. Do people still do that? I can't believe people still do that, John. I'm, I don't want, yep. But for this last game, we're gonna head my favorite legendary spot, Holly Hedges, and see if I can do good. I'm gonna jump kind of early so I can get the best landing for this location. I was just about to say, what the hell's going on with my skin? But I guess it, I guess it fixed itself. Yeah, it looks like my spot here is uncontested. I'm gonna go ahead and loot it up. I got a charged shotgun, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, click on the poll in the top of the screen right now and let me know what you guys think about the charged shotgun. Do you like it or do you think it's just garbage? I want you guys to let me know. Alrighty, based on the footsteps, there's a guy here. No way I'm getting third party this fast. No way, boys. But I hope you guys did enjoy these special parts of this video where I did do some building, got four kills in the first match. If you want more, just like this, be sure to leave a like on this video so I know you want more. And that will be exactly what I do next. Thank you guys all for knowing you stayed tuned and you're a real one. Thank you all for watching. And I'm out.